Okay, Christy, so we're just going to do a demonstration on getting quick relief. So, so we haven't got much time, so I'm just going to get straight into it. Can you tell me exactly what's going on right now for you? Um, well, it's probably the same issue that I was yeah. with, um, yesterday with Kelly. Um, I'm, I, I, it's my neck. <laughs> it's it's my left, left, the left, left side of my neck. Okay, left side of the neck. And tell me, out of 10, how much pain are you in on the left side of your neck? I, I'm going to call it discomfort. It's just like a niggling, but I would say it's an, an eight. It's just always there. So it's an eight out of 10. It's discomfort and it's always there. Yes. Okay. That's all right. It's like a, it's like a pinching. It's like a pinching. Okay. Good. We've got a bit more information. And do, how do you feel about having this always there pinching neck pain? I feel really frustrated <laughs> um, because it's kind of like a re recurring theme. I get it. It's coming up and then I just like, oh, this again, this All again, right. this again type thing. So the reason I'm interrupting a little bit is because remember, we don't have much time. And if you're doing it on yourself, you just want to get a real quick assessment. So we've got a few words. We've got pain in the, it's discomfort in your left neck, left side of your neck. It's pinching, it's always there, and it's really frustrating. Yes. Okay, so I'm going to get you to just tune into that. Close your eyes. Okay, and open your eyes. We're just going to start tapping on the top of the head. Just repeat my words. Keep really tuned in. You can do two hands or one. Maybe let's try two, shall we? Uh, I can't do two. I have a frozen, I have a frozen shoulder. Ah, okay, okay. That's no problem at all. So just just one is fine. So we're going to tap on the crown. We're just going to say these words. This pain in the left side of my neck. This pain in the left side of my neck. Eyebrow. It's always pinching. It's always pinching. It's always there. It's always there. Under the eye. All this frustration. All this frustration. Under the nose. All this frustration. It's always there. All this frustration. It's always there. This pain in the left side of my neck. This pain in the left side of my neck all across the collarbone. It's always there. It's always there. Under the arm. That's really frustrating. It's really frustrating. And the ribs. This pain in the left side of my neck. This pain in the left side of my neck. Just take a breath in and out. And let it go. We are doing, we're going to bring in the nine gamma, even though it's a quick tap. If you, if you haven't got much time and you don't want to do it, you cannot do the nine gamma, but let's just give it a go. Hand on your chest, tap between the little finger, ring finger, an inch away from your wrist. Focus straight ahead. Just be with that pain, the, the discomfort in the left side of your neck. Just roughly how long ago did you remember hurting it or do you have any recollection of when it began? Uh, it's it's like a, almost like a three-year anniversary that I've had chronic issues with it. Okay, so just have that in your mind. Don't yeah. overthink it, but you know it's been about right, three years. Yes. I don't want to go into too much detail here because it's a quick tap, but you know it was about that long ago. Looking straight ahead, just say all this frustration. All this frustration. Three years of this discomfort. Three years of this discomfort. Look hard down left. Look straight ahead. Hard down right. Look straight ahead. Breathing in and out. Drop the shoulders on your out breath. Good. Head still, eyes up to the ceiling and slowly round the clock and just say this pain in the left side of my neck. This pain in the left side of my neck. It's been there for three years. It's been there for three years. Always seems to be there. Always seems to be there. This frustration. This frustration. This pain and discomfort in the left side of my neck. This pain and this discomfort in the left side of my neck. Are you open to letting it go, Christy? I, I, I am, I am, yeah. I am, so a little bit of hesitancy, you just stay with what that resistance is. You don't need to say anything about it. Okay. You're gonna say, I am open to letting it go. I am open to letting it go. Oh, up to the ceiling, keep going. Breathe in and out. Let it go. Anti-clockwise, back up to the ceiling, anti-clockwise, this, this frustration. This frustration. This discomfort for three years. This discomfort for three years. I am open to feeling more comfortable. I am open to feeling more comfortable. I'm open to letting it go. Look down to the floor, good. Open to letting it go. 
and slowly up the other side. All this frustration, I've had this for three years. All this frustration, I've had it for three years. I'm open to letting it go. I'm open to letting it go. Let's just take a pause, massage or keep tapping, breathing in and out. Release, let go, consciously just relaxing your belly, your shoulders, everything. Um, we'll do just a little check-in. Uh, what number is it? Um, probably, I mean, the sharpness is completely gone. Good. So maybe a three. Excellent. Well done. You've done this for yourself. Okay, so we're going to hum on what's left. Before we do that, very, if you can, don't hurt yourself, but just move your neck as comfortably as you can. Notice the movement. I, I won't actually, because I've, had, I've just been having a really rough day. So I've just like, keep it. I'm just, I'm not going to move it too much. That's okay, this, this could be another thing that we could work on, the fear yeah. of that happening. Yeah. Well, let's just stay with where we're at. So keep tapping. It's a three. You said the pinching, the sharpness is down to a three from an eight. Yeah. Let's hum on that feeling. Okay. Just hum on that energy that just came up, whatever's there. <laughs> nice breath in and out. And release, let go. Counting out loud to five. Remember, we're using the right and the left side of the brain when we do the nine gamuts. So just see the numbers in front of you as you say them out loud, being aware that this has been three years. You are now not feeling the pinching, the sharpness is gone, so something's shifting. How strong is the frustration? At the moment, um, it's really eased off, like hugely, because the sharpness is gone. So Excellent. well done. Good. So we're going to uh, count out loud to five. Tap your hand. One. Two, three, four, five. five. Conscious breath in and out. And let go. If you choose to move your head slightly in your own time, you can, but I'm not going to force you. Okay? I, I only won't because I know I've, there's a real injury up there and I know the movement is one of my huge triggers. So um, I, I will leave that for now. No problem, no That's problem. Okay. Let's leave that for now. Okay. So let's hum, let's hum and try and get you feeling more comfortable. Okay. You ready? Yes. Just relaxing our hands down, just breathing normally. And just in your own time, sharing with me anything that feels different emotionally or physically compared to where we started. I'm pretty amazed <laughs> with, with the, like, you know, all, all morning I've just had this pinch in my neck and the pinch was completely gone, but like a, like a stabbing. Yeah. And just even, um, I think by the time we got to the nine gamut, it really, it really disappeared. Um, okay. I feel lighter. Good. I feel less frustration. Um, I know there is still some fear yes. um, underneath. Okay. But I do feel more comfortable, which is good. Well, Christy, we might leave it there because that was just to illustrate how quickly we can address the emotional part of an issue, a physical issue. Because all we were doing there is addressing really the emotion. We were naming the pain, but you can see that perhaps you can now see more of the relationship between the stress and the thoughts and images we have and how when we address that and acknowledge that and tap on the meridians to let go, therefore let go of the stress, that healing can occur. Mm. So I'm really pleased to hear that. I don't know how long we were doing it for, but I may just stop the recording. But what I would like to add before we end the recording, if it's okay, is what really came up, which was good, was there was definitely some more aspects, the fear of uh, the injury. Yeah. And, and that is where if I was working with you one on one, I would be asking you questions around that. And I would never force you to do anything that's not right for you. But we may look at the diagnosis, the image you've seen on an x-ray, all of that, because that can definitely bring in that sort of that it's not possible to heal sort of not that you're you've got this, but that's where the fear and the contraction can come in because 
miracles definitely can happen. Mm. And I'm not saying that if you break your leg, suddenly it's not broken the next day. We're not being ridiculous, but we do want to look at all the aspects. So that would be something that I would do next. So thank you so much for doing that with me. I'm glad you're feeling um, lighter and more relieved. So I'll just stop it there.